Good morning everybody, today I will be showing you all the upcoming Arknight skins. Note that there are some skins that are coming up that aren't in this video, that's because my other video is not outdated yet, so you can go check the, you know, the end side of that video. <laughs> this video will be including uh, the upcoming skins and they will be in the order they were released on CN, but it will not be including rerun skins. You can always just go look at all the skins and it's hard to tell sometimes if things will actually rerun or not. Bless you Warfare and skin coming back finally but yeah let me know which skin is your favorite in the comments below without further ado i just want to jump straight into it there will be timestamps have fun first we have purgatory and she is looking good i am not exaggerating that one of the things i really like about the skin line and uh well you'll notice this with a lot of the chinese skins is the effects they've done for them they look really good it's almost as if hypergriff is like a chinese company or something i know we're rushing straight into it but now we get straight to our dust skin this is a 21 OP skin, but it's a live 2D skin. A lot of the limited operators have 21 OP skins now, which are live 2D skins. So you need to save a bit extra, but trust me, the effects are worth it. Uh, it looks so good. This the skin, everything about it. I love it so much. The way everything moves and flows. I'm not even talking about the effects and the animations yet. I was just talking about the live 2D, <laughs> but it's a very good skin. Um, I really like it. I'm definitely getting it. The way they make the effects into like art is uh, is brilliant. I, I love it. If you've never been fishing with your dad, this is a good skin to get. Uh, you can go fishing with Mr. Nothing. Pretty nice skin. It has a lot of changes. I must say the changes look really nice. A little circle effect that he has on him. Like the way it affects like behind him, a sort of a background is really cool. Now we have a skin for Kung Fu Panda. It's pretty nice, not uh, too much, but if you don't think the skin is worth getting, then obviously you haven't seen the animation with the panda giving her the cheers. Indigo is looking as gorgeous as always. The pose, the everything, the way they've used the background and her hair together to make like this cool image looks really nice. It, it looks fantastic. It's a free skin, so not too much to say about it, but it's actually very good for a free skin. Some nice little changes and I really like the way she plays with the butterflies. Now we have one of the best non-live 2D skins in my opinion. The reason I am saying this and this is a this is a 18 OP skin for very clear reasons. This skin's art is very good, a very nice representation of KOV. The art isn't necessarily the best part. It is very good though, I like it for KOV. The amount of effects and efforts that have gone into the actual sprite itself is amazing. The little honey biscuit, the way her eyes glow, the animation effects, her attacks look so much cooler. Uh, it looks great for all her skills. In fact, I would gladly use this with any one of her skills. You may have noticed before when the, with the other skin, I said I prefer if she uses one move or the other in different skins. But this one, this one is for everything. It is amazing. If you love Kaobe, get this skin and you should love Kaobe. Now we have Jackie. At first, I thought I wouldn't like this skin much. I'm not going to lie. It's a free skin. Free skins don't usually give too much, but <laughs> this animation is really cool that she does in base. I don't know. I just think it's a very cool style for Jackie. Like it looks kind of cool. I like the style of it. Now we have Fuwai. What I actually really like about this skin is the fact that her entry always brings in like, she always looks like she's coming through a door. She's like the FBI. She's like kicking down the door. She's like, boom, I'm in here. Like all of her entries are like that. It's amazing. I, I wish more operators had something like that, like like kicking a door down to get into the field. That'd be cool. Asbestos skin actually made Asbestos look a bit more tame, in a sense. You know, it looked really nice. I was like, damn, who this? I didn't even recognize her. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice skin. I like the base animation, which is just like chilling and she's like vibing with the squares and i like the door design the door design looks really cool for you know her shield thing that she uses so majestic and beautiful something to match and go with the rosa skin from the previous video i love the effects about this not only because the effects are pretty but because the effects are really clear i really like how clear the effects are it's very clear that this person is getting shielded it's very clear that this people are getting slowed and it's very clear that she is beautiful now this is a skin for mulberry mulberry is a very cool operator i love mulberry this is a nice alternative to her her original color scheme is going to make me stick with that over this just because i really like the color scheme but the effects and everything is very good i can understand wanting to switch to the skin this skin has a lot of cool effects it is really nice and i don't know she seems really cute two way two e 
Bakazui. Okay, okay, look, I, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but here you go, a 15 OP skin for her. Um, She's got a smug look on her face that I do not like, and some pretty nice effects. Hey, 2A skin. I like the design, though. I do. Like, it's... It fits her so much. I said the same thing about Robin's skin last time. Now we have Heavy Rain skin. Initially, I didn't like the skin. Not for the design. The design and everything on the art looks great. But I thought it was just going to make her look like green on the sprite. But when in making this video, I learned that the sprite actually looks really nice. Because, like, it's not just green. She has, like, the whole black and white thing. Which I think is very important for Heavy Rain, you know? Zebra and everything. Now we have another Live 2D 21 OP skin. Oh, so you thought, actually. It's not a 21 OP skin. It's actually free through integrated strategies too. Phantom's new skin is going to be a free skin. It looks very good. It was just recently announced, so it's still a bit fresh, but the live 2D, everything about it, it's a very cool skin. Free skin for Phantom fans and for your dedication to Phantom. Good job. We have a Conviction skin, also a free skin. I don't even know what's happening here. Um but something is it's a conviction skin I, I i i don't know what else to say more memes more dreams you know and of course i went above and beyond and i went to go search for these myself but we have lancet skin along with the rest of the new skins lancet skin is actually pretty nice a bit bright for the battlefield oh but she's a shore rescue now she saves people on the shore so you know this is where lancet has made it in her life she's gone to beach rescues she's a lifeguard now Bloodline of Combat skin, actually, in fact. So, she's she's professional and in her prime. We have the Reed skin, which is a very nice color palette change. Like, I, I thought Reed's colors were very good. Like, they were just amazing. But this color palette change, I'm not actually arguing with. It looks very nice. I like the way they did it. And she just looks like an absolute boss, right? Also, you get a free cat licking itself. Now, Tequila very cool guy and i like the skin for the card effects and everything that comes with it they have this whole james bond kind of thing going on with that came with this whole skin line i like his uh skill too the way that cards just fly everywhere that is pretty nice i have to ask for a second another mudrock skin again obviously she's a fan favorite i can understand why mudrock is just hot not only is the skin just like some hot mudrock skin the effects are so nice and i love it but it looks so so good and i cannot get over how good it looks if you guys love mudrock i think the skin is a good choice i said last time that they should get her more heavily armored skins because that's something unique that she brings but they brought this and it works pretty well i like this this is very cool i really really love the effects i'm getting the skin fuck you guys and also we have frost leaf frost leaf skin i think frost leaf obviously gets a lot of love i think it's deserved she has a very good design she's loved by the fans bloodline of combat no less actually you know her prime i think that's all the skins and i think that's everything i don't think i'm missing anything Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, that's all the skins. If there is anything I missed or anything you want to mention about any of the skins, let me know in the comments below. I love reading the comments and I love finding out extra things that I didn't know and I couldn't put into the videos. If you want to see the next skin video in probably three to six months, you can subscribe. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for the support. Goodbye and good night. Special shout out to so many new channel members for joining and for so many for supporting for so long. I know I don't usually talk during this part, but hey, I just want to say you guys deserve it. Love you all. Thank you so much. Bye bye.